Well, this is an incident that city officials are looking into. We should point that out. But residents say the video you're about to see is a sign of a much larger problem as it relates to traffic in this area. The video is absolutely chilling. A Cadillac slams into a commuter bus as it comes up Rosa Parks Boulevard near Temple, not far from the Motor City Casino. The gentleman was actually ejected from his car. I mean, this is kind of a big deal. Dallas Barr, a local businessman, runs through the video as captured by his company surveillance system. And this gentleman comes in and hits right there and um, sends the bus through all this you know, all these people's homes and things. Police tell Fox 2 the violent crash left the bus driver with minor injuries. It's believed to have been empty at the time, but the driver of the Cadillac was pinned and placed in serious condition. You can see him hit the ground. There's his legs, uh, and he's dragged under the car up over the curb. Barr says he's only pushing to get the video out there because something like this has happened way too often. Well, there's just tons of accidents and um, somebody died out there two years ago. They ran into the house and died at that intersection. So, um, yeah, it's kind of an issue. Our goal with all this is to, we just want a light out there. We want a traffic light, not a stop sign that's covered by a forest of trees. They've even lobbied City Hall. This whole community here, this North Town, North Corktown area, everyone is screaming for help. Barr has been here long enough to remember when the roads were quieter, but since the addition of the casino, he says all that changed. And now it's like the Mecca. It's like a, a entertaining. It, people come from all over. They don't know these roads. Now we checked in with Detroit City officials and they have a bit of a different take on this. They say there was a traffic light there about 20 years ago. They say that area only sees about two accidents or so a year and they say they could put down speed humps in that area, but they have yet to hear from the residents. A city official I spoke with tonight says you could put all the signs there really you want, but really it comes down to human behavior and people observing the rules of the road. Reporting live outside Detroit Police Headquarters, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 news. Well, whether or not they know the roads or not, these city officials have to also realize that they have to do something about the trees covering the stop sign. There was that one shot in your story. It clearly shows the stop signs not visible with all those leaves and those branches covering them. Yeah, that's a big issue, too. That's something that uh, is a relatively easy fix, too. Most city governments, they do have a department that can go out, simply clip those trees and make sure that sign is visible. Definitely something the residents there said and definitely something you saw in the video. Absolutely. And the people who live there know better than anybody else. Perhaps that light would be an improvement as well. Something needs to be done before someone gets more hurt than they already have. Dave Kinchin for us live. Thank you.